Using direct integration, find the area moment of inertia about the baseline of the rectangle now, not the midline, with base B and height H. So again, my, by definition, I'm looking at, at IX because I have a horizontal axis. That's going to be the integral of y squared dA. Again, I'll take a horizontal differential element so that my dA has area b dy. Plug that into the integral. Ix is the integral of y squared times b dy. My limits of integration now, though, are from 0 to h. If I evaluate that integral, I get y cubed over 3 times b from 0 to h, which gives me Ix equals 1 third bh cubed about the baseline. That is compared to what we had before was 1 12th bh cubed for the centroidal axis. Now we don't actually have to do this integral again. The parallel axis theorem says ix for any x that's parallel to the centroidal x-axis is equal to ix prime, which is the moment of inertia about the centroidal x-axis, plus a d squared. So x prime would be the line that goes through the centroid, and x is any axis parallel to the x prime axis, where d is equal to the perpendicular distance in between them. So this is d. d is h over 2. What this says, the parallel axis theorem says that ix is 1 12th bh cubed plus bh, that's the area of my rectangle, times h over 2 squared. If you write that out, you get 1 12th bh cubed plus 1 4th bh cubed which is very nicely what we calculated by direct integration above.